and this is the box from the nursery with the cacti in so i'm going to try and do this one-handed you can see it's very very well sealed in uh i had to leave it out overnight and it rained I'm trying, this is very difficult one-handed I ordered it was in the region of 20 I think so there we go so for the nurseries many thanks for your order it is complete I'm just checking there was no address on there not uh, I mean, it was in my address no Okay, so I'll put that to one side and keep that. As you can see, I'm uh, usual uh, potting shed stuff. There's lots of other stuff besides stuff for plants in here as well. Pause it there and get a few, um, uh, get some of the wrapping out. Uh, so you haven't got to watch that. Okay, so I did say in the video yesterday, but I will repeat uh, today. The plants that I've ordered are ones mainly with orange flowers. I've just got a thing for orange flower cacti at the moment, orange flower plants at the moment, and I wanted to uh, increase my stock of those. So this first one, here we are, is, is that on camera? Is an Echinopsis Lincoln Flicker hybridized by Southfield Nursery. So this is one of their own hybridizations. And this is in a plastic octagonal pot. That. Wow. So that won't need potting up, but have a look. I'm hoping the contrast, I appreciate I'm filming in front of a bright window. I know you should be careful touching cacti because of the spines. But that's beautiful, isn't it? A mass of tiny plant that's piled on top of each other. There is a late sort of broken labeling there which i'm curious about so yeah that no, i'm really pleased with that one good size wonder whether no i've got any gloves out here yes i need to get some gloves and check the root ball on that but i imagine they're a specialist nursery i imagine this would be absolutely fine but it's lovely isn't it so the older leaves the leaves the older parts they're quite green and the newer ones brown okay anyway that's the first one so the next one now i think this is one of the ones that won't be in a pot because some of the plants were advertised as being in a 12 centimeter pot which that is and others were, it said, suitable for a six centimetre pot, which I read as the cumber root, but I don't know exactly. Let's have a look. So this one is another Echinopsis, uh, where are we? Lincoln Crown. Again, a, a um, Southfield Nurseries hybrid. So it does look in structure very similar to the previous one in focus there with 
these, I don't know what you call these actually. They're not plantlets, are they? But these structures here, but this is in already in a pot, so I may not need to pot these up just yet. That looks a very healthy specimen. The soil it's in is clearly, and if you can see that, clearly very sandy, so I think it would be appropriate for the plant. Yeah, look at that, very gritty stony soil in the pots they are a specialist nursery so unlike maybe when you buy one at a standard garden center they may not be potted up in the correct compost this does look like it's in a in a suitable one there's some buds there i'm hoping they might be flowers anyway so that is uh camilla bivia or echinopsis lincoln crown so that's a hybrid another hybrid might be able to use that so so the third one here let's see what the name is is a block it there we are see that is a noto cactus Otonis var Januskiansis, again grown by Southfield Nurseries. I don't know if that means grown or bred by them. Oh well, look at that. So this no to cactus, there is a bud there. Now I'm not a cactus expert, so I might be wrong, but that I'm hoping that's a flower bud. Um and then there's more sort of furry stuff around here. What I liked about this when I saw it online was the, the orange coloured spines, which it's got, I hope that comes across on the camera there, which it's clearly got there, and we're very careful touching them. But they look beautiful, don't they? And they contrast with the green of the body of the plant. So I'm very pleased with that. Again, I'm sure, I to be careful, the soil. is fine for this if i check this one it's okay i'm not going to do this with any others yeah very very sandy gritty soil which is great and i don't know if you can see that on camera there's some roots showing at the edge of the root ball there so it's filling out its pot nicely very happy with that okay so now onto the fourth one Again, this feels like it's in a pot, so I'm wondering whether they've all come in pots and I didn't need to stock up. But uh, the pots I have got from the Soil Ninja compost won't go to waste. I mean, I do like terracotta pots, so the ones that come in plastic pots, like this one that I've already opened, and like this one here, um, I may pot up, well, no, I will pot up into terracotta pots anyway. I just may not need the soil. Okay, so another Echinopsis. Camilla Oblivia, Lincoln Tiger. So I think the nursery, Southfield Nursery, is based in Lincolnshire, so their plant names uh, seem to be, or a lot of their hybridisation seem to be uh, named Lincoln uh, after the area they are based in. So this is another Echinopsis, so similar to the first two that I opened, I expect. Ah, look at that. And that has a larger leaf. Is it a leaf? Get the label put in before I forget. So this is a lovely little plant here. Larger structures here than the first two. And you can see some small growths growing off here. And I'm wondering whether those two are flower buds. As I say, I'm really not a cactus expert, which will come across in this video. I just like the beauty of them. I mean, some of them are beautifully symmetrical. Look at the lines here, how they gently twist around the body of the plant, the regularity of the spines. So look at the nota cactus here. You know, there's they are they they are beautiful, uh, beautiful plants, and the flowers that you get off them are just stunning. So I'm very excited to be 
uh, to see what these develop into. Okay, so I've deliberately gone for another larger one this time. So this will be one of the ones that's in a 12 centimeter pot, probably similar to this one here, uh, octagonal in shape, which I do like, except I prefer terracotta pots. Uh, this one I can see spines sticking through the paper already, so I'm gonna be very, very careful with this. If you can see, it looks like there's something there. I wonder if this is in flower. Oh, look. So there's the first example of one with a flower. Unfortunately, it's been squashed in transit. I have to say they are packed very, very well. There's very little soil lost, which means that the root ball is well developed and the uh, packaging has worked. This is a Parodia Mirana Moon. Oh. Yeah, let me get that in the light better. A Parodia Marinana. There are we. Like that. There we go. Again, grown by Southwood Nursery, so I'm sensing this is not their, one of their hybrids, doesn't say that. But look, see that. I hope the colour comes across in the video there. The colour, the beautiful orange flower. I know it's been squashed in transit, which is such a shame, but that's not their fault. It's not the nursery's fault. But that's a taste of things to come, that. There's a small pup growing on the side there. But again, look at the, you see what I mean about the symmetry and the shape there, the, the row of spines sort of gently curves up in such a regular pattern around the body of the cactus. Isn't that lovely? Very, very pleased with that. Okay, so I've gone for the large one. There's another one of those in the 12 centimeter octagonal pots. Oh, uh, no. Just about to throw away the label. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, it's annoying. I've broken the label. What an idiot. So this is an Echinopsis Lincoln Dandy hybridised by Southfield Nurseries. Like a fool, I screwed up the paper and threw away the, well, or broke the label for it. That's very annoying. So again, this is very well wrapped. This, this one is bubble wrapped. looks like the first two in shape yeah and, ah but smaller so very similar structures with some leaves but much much smaller than the first two If you have a look at that, they're very small leaves. So it's quite brown in colour. I don't know if that means it's coming out, you know, following the winter, it hasn't had much water, which you wouldn't expect it to have. And whether that'll green up a bit as uh, they get watered, and I will do that. That's a beauty, isn't it? Amazing. It's very gritty soil dropping out the bottom. Very happy with that one. But not very happy about the label. Yes, I need to make sure I don't lose that. Right, I've still take that old label back to get or that, that previous label back together stuck it in the pot. So I'm going for a smaller one again now. I'm going to screw that up. So this is a Rebutia or Ilostera hybrid orange fizz. Another Southfield Nurseries 
hybrid. Yeah. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's almost glaucous green leaves. And then one, two, three, four, five, six flower buds. That's one of the larger ones there around. So that promises to be, ah, oh, there we are, there's a couple of larger ones there. That they promise to be, um, to come into flowering fairly soon, to come into flower fairly soon, which would be great. Again, look at the symmetry of that. Yeah, beautiful. This is why I love cacti. I do. I do love them. They're amazing uh, organisms. Right here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eighth one. And I'm going for a small one again. This one is an Echinopsis, born cracker, hybridised by Southwood Nurseries. What a little beauty. Trying to even out the soil there. Okay, so it's another small specimen, but very, very well formed. No flower buds that I can see on this one. Maybe it's an age thing, maybe it needs to be a bit older, or maybe it's the wrong time of year. But very lovely nonetheless. So that's an Echinopsis born cracker. Okay, so I've done, I've unwrapped eight, and I've got nine more to go, so this is the ninth one. I've also opened the shed door, which might mean the neighbours can hear me gnashing on, but it doesn't mean there's more light inside now, which might be, might make it easier. Oh, have I thrown the light in there? Uh, idiot. Right, this is another Rebutia. Idolstera, Idolstera. Orange Ice, hybridised by Southfield Nurseries. So this is in a 12 centimetre pot, so this is one of the larger pots I've got, or the large size pots I've got. This one, because of the covering of fur, hairs in it, looks mostly white. That's beautiful, look at that. So this is called orange ice. So whether that's the ice there, <laughs> it's very white. But I have to say, I'm really impressed with the quality of Southfields Nurseries, what they've scent and the the packaging of it but also the soil they clearly know their stuff which is good but it's not always the case when you buy plants online uh, very happy with that So I'm resuming filming after a 24 hour break. Uh, and opening the ninth, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth uh, plant from Cactus Land. Camilla Bolivia, which is an Echinops Lincoln Jamboree, this one.
open it carefully. Lovely. So a little bit like this Lincoln Crown, which is one I opened earlier on. This is a small leaved, I don't know if they're called leaves, sorry, I should know that, but small leaved cactus. Again, hybridised by Southfield Nurseries. Let's go try and get a close up of that. There we go. I can't see any flower buds on that one. Okay, so the next one. Butia or Ilostera angelina. Another South of Nurseries hybrid. I hadn't realised when I ordered these, so many were hybrids from the actual nursery itself. Now, I did have another Rebutia, orange fizz. That one there, they look very similar. The difference would be in the flowers and the flower colouring. It looks like this one has got quite a few flower buds on. There, but very well sized in the pot. Pleased with that. They are, I'm really pleased with these, very good quality plants. They're not, they weren't, uh, I didn't think they're ridiculously expensive for the size of plants you're getting and the fact that this, you know, they're all well established in their pots. So if you look, uh, there we are, if you can see that. There's a really good root ball on that one. And they haven't just been potted up. I might have said this yesterday, so if I'm repeating myself from earlier on in the video, I apologize, but they're not, they haven't been just potted up into bigger pots to sell for a larger cost or greater cost. They're actually proper size plants. I've bought, where are they? Oh, they're, um, a load of pots like this. I think these are five centimetre pots to pot them up into. Sorry, nine centimetre pots. Yeah, nine centimetre pots to pot them up into, um, which I won't do in this video, but I will do at some point over the next month. That's quite a big, as if you can see that, that's probably a bit too big of a jump up in size, so I'd need to be careful. Although it is quite root bound, so maybe not. I'm deliberately now doing all the small ones and leaving the large ones I've got left for last. Another, ooh, another Rebutia. Darcy. Again, I mean, pot after pot, a really well wrapped and well cared for plants. There we go. Get a close up of that. Again, lots and lots of buds in there. I'm hoping that they're all flower buds and that I'll get a good show this year. I don't know what uh, damage, if any, transport will have done to the plants themselves. There's loads and loads on that one more than the last one. Okay, so this is the last of the small ones, which means I've got four large ones left. Another Rebutia. But a different hybrid, Dominica. Dominica, Dominica. Slightly smaller one, a bit more disturbed. This one seems to have lost more soil than the others. I wonder what the root ball. Yeah, not as good in that one. And a lot of soil come loose. Um, yeah, that one, out of all of them, I Although it has got a good root system on it, 
you can see all the soil has fallen out of that. I'll, off camera, I'll give that some attention. But still, not a bad sized plant. And again, rows of buds, the flowers around it. I'm saving that you can't see it on camera, but I've got one of these um, potting trays and all the soil that's fallen out is going into that so I can reuse it. So just before I open the next one, I have uh, scooped up the soil that fell out of that and put it back in. It seems to have, so I was looking at the bottom there, seems to have taken it well. So I'm hoping that one will be all right now. Okay. <clears throat> So we're on the last four now. Probably you'll be pleased to know that. It's probably gone on far too long. And the last four, ah, ooh, spines. The last four are all larger ones. And this one I need to be careful of because I've just caught my finger on the spine through two layers of paper. A noto cactus. I'll show you the label in a second. Let's get this off. some of their octagonal pots. Okay. Gosh, I thought the spine too big for that, given the fact they went through paper. That's a beauty, look at that. So just getting rid of the paper in bins behind me. Right, so this is a Notocactus Hasselbergii. Yep. So it's hairy and spiny, so there's fine hairs on it, but also there's larger spines underneath, and there's a ring of flowers there. And again, it feels very well rooted in that. Can you see that? A ring of flowers around that. Now I have got a few, I might need to order some more. I have got a few shallow pots like that, which in time, yeah, that would be quite a good fit. I think they're better off in these shallow pot, these wider shallow pots. Um, well, they certainly, those, this sort of pot certainly imitates the shape of this one which I'm guessing if the nursery has grown it in that is the size there, size and shape they're recommending. So that's a Notocactus Hasselbergii. Loose soil coming out of this one. And a broken plant label. So this one is a larger Rebusia uh, Ilostera, apricot ice. Again, a Southfield Nursery hybrid. Plant label broke on that one. Right, let's get them unpacked. If I can, so I'm trying to do this on camera. Can't get through the center tape. Okay. See how that does. Oh, that's a beauty. A bit of loose gravel on top, but well rooted in there. Yeah, quite downy spines on it. Although I wouldn't want to rub them the wrong way. This was called apricot ice. And again, there was another one earlier on called something ice, and 
What was that called? Orange ice. Yeah, that one. They do look very similar. The ice, I guess, being the colour of the, or the colour given by the dense hairs on it. Yeah, but that's lovely. Probably, you'll be pleased to know, the penultimate one here. Rebusia or Ilostera heliosa, grown by Southfield Nurseries, so not a hybrid. Well, not a hybrid of Southfield Nurseries, certainly. Try not to shower dirt on the ones I've got below, but also trying to make sure you get to see the plants that's not being unwrapped. Oh wow, that's very different. Tiny, tiny hairs and spines, or hairs or spines on it. Look at that. Very unusual. Looks like a little bit rude. But very, very fine markings, and the pattern on that is amazing. Look at that. Okay, so the last one. I'm sure you'd be pleased to know. There's another Echinopsis or Camelobivia. Camelobivia Lincoln Gem. Birds for them, that looks like. So, try and cut that off carefully. So, every time I uh, take something off, I'm putting it in a bin behind me. So, a Camel Oblivia, a larger specimen. So, I've got quite a few of these, uh, but this one is called. Where's the screen? Where's the lens? Uh, Lincoln Gem. And this is another Southfield Nursery hybridisation. So there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 plants in total. Let me lift that up. Now I did get an email from them and I need to go back and have a look. Um, because they said one of them that I'd ordered had a mark on it. And they were offering another one in addition. I can't remember which ones, which one it was that had a mark and which one was the addition. In fact, I'll stop this and I'll go and have a look at the email. Hang on. Okay, so this is the one that they emailed me about that I'd ordered. They said it had some marks on it. Uh, and as a goodwill gesture, this is the one they sent in replacement, which I thought was very good of them. I can't really see. So I'm juggling the camera i can't really see unless they mean oh, let's get into the light sorry it's very difficult to see there we go unless they mean marks like that which i can't see through the camera well oh, it's very kind of them being honest I'm not really sure I'd have noticed that but I will take that because in effect that's a free cactus and I've got the Lincoln crown anyway so there is my full collection of cacti from 
cactus land and based on what I've seen so far in terms of custom service, in terms of the free plant they offered and the packaging, etc., I would happily order from them again. Very chuffed with that. Okay, I will end the video here. Uh, I need to get these watered um, and placed somewhere bright and sunny. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.